I organised a briefing for members of the Oireachtas on the 9th of January with the doctors at COMH, long before the primetime programme went out. At that meeting, a TD asked why there wasn't an outcry about the level and extent of women on the waiting list for gynaecology treatments in Cork, given the scale of the problem. And one answer came. That was that it's because it's women on the list. Women often keep quiet and don't talk about such conditions as the menopause, period pain, heavy bleeding or prolapse. It's not a subject for mixed company. Women often keep their concerns to themselves so as not to upset or worry their children or families or jeopardise their jobs. I knew this myself. I had problems with bleeding and I was barely able to go to work. So I know this directly from direct experience. Um, they battle on knowing that something is very wrong or even fatal with their gynaecological health. The doctors have not been silent. They've been raising awareness of the growing and alarming gynaecology waiting lists internally for years. Their worries and concerns have consistently been minimised and ignored. This has resulted with COMH having the highest and longest waiting lists for gynaecology in this country. The doctors eventually felt they had to go public and go political. It's not a doctor's job to be going and talking to the media or talking to politicians, yet this is what the doctors felt that they had to do to get some attention on this issue. They outlined a four-point practical plan. One, to employ additional gynaecology theatre staff to increase the theatre capacity from 30% to 100%. We were shown around an empty theatre built with the purpose of dealing with gynaecology uh, procedures, lying empty. They also suggested uh, to develop a, and staff a gynaecology day unit, which uh, uh, Senator Burke has raised, build and staff the gynaecology one-stop shop, which was part of a gynaecology plan uh, a, a published by the HSC in 2014, and employ a minimum of four additional consultant gynaecologists. And each of these things has, has to happen together. The National Treatment Purchase Fund are cherry-picking from one of these things on the list will not solve the problem. The doctors eventually got some attention and put their four-point pla plan directly to Minister Harris on the 12th of January. Minister Harris agreed to meet with the doctors and management again in six weeks, and in fact he asked me to contact the office to uh, fix that meeting. What I want to know is, has the Minister been active in engagement with HSE local management and doctors since the 12th of January? What progress can the Minister uh, report to the women of uh, Cork and the region, and indeed the members of the Oireachtas, who are quite who are quite rightly concerned about these uh, out-of-line, out-of-kilter, outliers of waiting lists for gynaecology in Cork. <laughs>